Com. Now, right now, demonstrators are still gathering at Al Lopez Park. Ted Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido joins us from there live once again. And Angie, you got some insight into the push for freedom. Ryan and Carolina, this push from them for freedom is coming deep from within their souls. So many of them that are out here have not been able to connect with their families that are still on the island. That's why you hear them chanting right now that they wanted intervention and they're fighting for libertad or freedom. They are literally fighting for their family's survival. The sounds say it all. Para Cuba. Cuba está presente. The people of Cuba are here. I may be Tampeño, I may be from Tampa, but my blood is in Cuba. My family's in Cuba. That's why I see her every day. Kevin Morejon waves his country's flag for the fifth day in a row. I have a lot of family still left in Cuba and a lot of family that still haven't heard from. Sorry. And he isn't the only one. Janice Acosta Rodriguez's whole family is still in Cuba. Her brother arrested for protesting. Once the internet on the island was shut down, she lost connection with them until today. Holding up her phone, she shows two officers outside of her home. Her family says they're being kept inside. Families say the Cuban government is trying to silence their voices. So here at home, at this point, it's basic human rights. They're starving. Our family's starving over there. It's, it's, it's different if we were fighting for something that didn't make sense, but at this point, we just want them to be able to live. Now they are begging their family members that are on the island to not give up and to continue protesting in Cuba. Yanaisi, one of the lucky ones who was able to make connection with her family, but so many of the other people here have not been able to do so. They will continue trying and hope to do so in the coming days. Communist government there shut down the internet and access to a lot of the apps like WhatsApp, Instagram to be able to communicate. Tonight, President Joe Biden says he's considering options to get internet to the country. It's something Governor Ron DeSantis asked the president and his administration to do today. We can be able to be helpful to getting internet back onto the island of Cuba. The one thing that communist regimes fear the most is the truth. And if we're able to help Cubans communicate with one another, also communicate to the outside world, uh, that truth is going to matter. That truth, I think, will be decisive. Okay, so how? How does the island get internet? Well, the governor wants to use technology like satellite balloons to be able to give them access. He didn't name which company he would work with to do that, but the company Raven was mentioned. So again, how's this all going to work? Let's take a deeper dive because it is really interesting. Raven's actually been around for 60 years and uses stratospheric balloons and airships. Look at your screen right now because this video is from their website and it shows how those balloons can fill in gaps between satellites, opening up communication for people who don't have access. The company has already been given special authorization by the FCC for use in Puerto Rico in case another devastating hurricane hits. Leaders say these types of balloons can be activated within a day. 